Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I will be reacting to Cartoon Fight Club's newest video. Finally, I'm on track again. Uh, Doctor Strange versus Bill Cipher. And I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm, I'm like, even though I'm siding with the man himself, the guy that have crippling hands, the guy that is a, a legit doctor, Doctor Strange. Because of many reasons. Come on, go ahead. Because of many, many, many reasons whatsoever. But mainly, I feel like. I feel like Doctor Strange will actually have like can they can actually um kill Bill Cipher, but of course they both can't die because one uh Steven I believe his name was Stevens don't have a physical body, he has a spiritual body, so he gonna be died that he can't die that easily. Plus even though Bill Cipher can't die easily either unless you erase his mind. Doesn't even know that one Doctor, uh, Doctor Strange movie, he can just mainly reverse time, forever and ever. Because no matter how many times he died, he always come back, until he made that I don't know the deal has been made. So I'm not sure that will actually apply the same rules, well, the same rules of magic to that situation. I'm not. Sure. Wait, can he not die? Or no. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying with Doctor Strange for all the part. Because uh, I feel like he has more edges and can win much more easily, plus have better reality warping powers than Bill Cipher. But without further ado, guys, let's begin with this video right now. I did not watch it. I did not watch it, guys. I swear to God, I did not. What's up everyone? Welcome to yet another episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Before we get into things, make sure to visit the Rewind Rebel channel to check out the Swordsman yeah. Free I will react to that at least next week because I really do not feel like sitting in here for now, half an hour or 40 minutes. Tonight we have a battle between Doctor Strange and Bill Cipher. Bill Cipher has been on this channel like a billion times, so I don't even want to talk about this dude until after the animation. So hmm. without further ado, let's get into Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Stephen Strange was once a surgeon who lived a pretty normal life, casually saving lives via science and medicine. Then, through a rough mm. night on the road, Strange got into a car accident and severely damaged his hands. His hands were so badly wounded that he could no longer work in the medical field. He traveled the globe, looking for ways to cure his injury. He was then directed to speak with the Ancient One. Strange wanted the Ancient One to heal him. But at first, this wasn't possible since Strange had selfish intentions. This would have been the end of the story until Strange was forced to spend the night with the Ancient One due to bad weather conditions. During his forced stay, he witnessed the Ancient One fending off evil. This inspired Strange to rethink his values, and he wanted to take the Ancient One's challenge. After many years of training and studying, Strange developed into a fully blown hero. Oh my so god, wait, what the ones and zeros in there? I just realized that. And what he could exactly do. The full list of Strange's abilities is seemingly endless. It would actually be easier to say what he can't do than what he could do, mainly because he has an ability known as Power Steel that gives him access to his target's powers, and at the same time, he can drain their powers. With the Shield of Seraphim, he can protect himself from many incoming attacks. With the Crimson Bands of Ciderac, he can create a series of red rings and sever his opponents with great forces and tightening blows. He can time travel, fly, teleport, freeze time, shapeshift, create illusions, mastered many forms of magic, and is a high-tier reality warper. What? What the fuck? He yeah. is massively faster than light. As he can scale to Umar's speed bolt, he can scale to a multi-universal level of power from the time he beat the in-betweener. The in-betweener represents duality itself. He is both life and death, good and evil, order and chaos. He is the embodiment of equalizing, and Strange took him down. This dude's only considerable Damn. weakness is a life without his artifacts, and even then, that's not too much of a big deal. 
the only time he's really lost is a battle between Thanos and his Infinity Gauntlet. Hey, what's going on, guys? Ah, this is right. the SS Ultimate Goku. Back! No, I'm really kidding about you. At Checkers and Rallies, the best nights turn into You are an earache. Can you get a bold Philly cheesesteak or crispy? And if we don't... That's too bad. Because the facts are the facts. No one's getting like you I'm not sitting here for another 35 seconds of that. Or 40 seconds, however long that was. Step in the morning, you like. By the hoary hosts of Hugger. Wait, how is that even possible? He doesn't have a spine or bones. And he's back. Decapication mode! He's big. He's bad. Mega, mega ultra, mega ultra, super mega dynamite. We can talk. Super ultra mega dynamite. Bill Saber. Red mode. Boy. Did you see this guy blow the earth? This is not the way this ends! You can all go to hell without me. Like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna blow up the earth. Boom. Uh, okay, all that. Re reverse time. I hope you enjoyed that animation. It was completed by Josh Medley. And don't forget to check out Rewind Rumble, The Swordsman Free For All, and the new series, Fatal Conflict. Thanks, and now... Yeah, I watched Fatal analysis. Conflict. That's really a series so far. First episode, not bad. So I'm like, I'm gonna make my name like a little bit. So our winner was Doctor Strange, and here's why. First and foremost, this is no easy battle. A simulation would probably last thousands of years. These oh my god, how long would that be? Trying to figure a way to beat each other. I really don't want to sit down and debate who's faster, stronger, or anything statistical in these regards for three reasons. One, Doctor Strange has too much data, and Bill Cipher has too little data. We know a lot about Bill's power through statements and claims, even from his book, but not enough raw physical evidence from actual episode accomplishments. Bill's best in-episode accomplishments are one-shotting the Time Baby and creating Weird Mageddon. Doctor Strange has almost a half-century worth of incarnations, battles, feats, and stats through all his comics. Yeah. Of course, in concept, Bill is far older than Strange, but he has far less stats through actual written works. So sure. I'm doing this in favor of Bill to give him the best options possible. Two, the stats anyway would be insanely close. They're both massively faster than light, multi-universal, extremely durable reality warpers with very few upfront weaknesses. How much more close can things get? Which leads me into number three. Oh, it if, ultimately if he did not, matter. if Bill Saber did not have the mind race ability, or by the way, kind of race weakness, if these guys can God, work reality be and change physics itself, debating who's done greater physical things with the standard Newton laws of physics are pointless if you can change them. When it comes to reality warpers, there are only two important things to debate reality warping strategy and reality warping limits. Bill's reality True. warping strategy relies heavily on manipulation, weird randomness, and physical imbalance. Doctor Strange's reality warping strategy relies heavily on awakening, installing order, and physical balance. They're pretty much sheer opposites when it comes to direction of the universe. Somewhat so like Steven Strange and um, Sans, like they both Many are Strange's opposites. Act very similar to Bill. 
This guy would be almost nothing new for Strange. In a battle against Mordred the Mystic, who was essentially a whack job reality warper, who was drained down to being a powerless human thanks to the powers. The light from one single no one cares about light. Lung come. Lung come. Lung come. I didn't call Lung come. Stealing abilities that Strange has. Then Strange created a void outside of the space time continuum itself which is essentially a multi-universal feat in itself just to survive outside of the universe without collapsing into nothingness. Yeah. Yes, Bill has defeated many reality warpers in his past, but many of the warpers he did beat were either whack jobs just like him or from lower dimensions. There's a reason why he lost his physical form and was stuck without one for many years, because there are beings in the universe who did indeed trap him and keep him in check, which takes us to part two, reality warping limits. Bill Cipher is considered to be 11D or 11th dimensional and dimensional ranking. Strange, while he is a human from the third dimension, his peak with the Avatar of Eternity would allow him to surpass Bill. He can temporarily bind himself to the Axtrap being, which is the embodiment of all space throughout the multiverse. With this type I'm of I'm going on the one to dinosaur. I know here. Technique. And he can yeah, easily use dimensional nullification to find literally any living thing from any dimension and use it as a landing spot for Bill's grave. For Bill really? to beat Strange, it would require him to outthink the knowledge Strange obtains with the Avatar of Eternity. Bill knows lots of things, but the Avatar of Eternity, while possessed for a short amount of time, certainly knows more than Bill. I'm not going to pull a No Limits fallacy and say it's omniscient, but I'm very confident it's smarter than a talking Dorito. Making the winner of this uh, battle, uh, uh, Doctor talking Strange. Angry I would meat a rematch, demeanor. but instead, I'd rather offer an update. The Reality Warpers Free For All is in good production, and it should be a rewind rumble in the relative future. Hmm. We don't want to rush it, so it might take some time, but it will happen. So what you need to do is leave this channel and head on down to Rewind Rumble and make sure you're subscribed to it. Make I don't sure want to leave this the channel. I grew up with this channel. Sasuke vs. Shadow, Goku Black vs. Dark Sonic, and the new series on that channel, Fatal Conflict. On the next episode of Cartoon Who's Fight Club. next? Do you all remember that classic kids movie no. in the 70s about a pig and a spider? Yeah. What was this guy's West? name? I forgot. Oh no, you don't. What was it? The odd one. The odd ones is out and versus SGM Mario or however you pronounce that. That uh, Gogeta versus Shanik I will do because I reacted to Gogeta right, versus uh, Sh Sh Shanik versus um, Gogeta. Stay tuned for because that's coming soon this month. Huh. Now, let's talk about the future of this series schedule and what's to come for this channel. In hey, this my art. First and foremost, be sure to come back this Saturday, December 9th, to watch the first episode of the new series, Fatal Conflict. You don't want to miss it. I don't want to spoil too much about this series, like but just know that the first episode of Fatal Isn't Conflict today, December is... Or this video, whatever. Uh, December, oh, that was being animated okay. by Team Animation Rewinds, not to me, 007. So if you know his work, you know you should be hyped for it. Yeah. You should also be hyped for Dio vs. Alucard, is that's animated by Chaos. Make sure you're subscribed. Ooh. You don't want to miss these videos. Now let's talk it. about this Rewind Rumble schedule. All of the uploads uploaded in this month of December will be part of the Rewind Rumble preseason. Not the first season, but the preseason. Hmm. There's going to be about two, maybe three more Rewind Rumbles in December alone. Then, once the preseason is over, Season 1 of Rewind Rumble will officially begin January 3rd, 2018. Then, each episode will come out every other Wednesday. Season Ooh. 1 will have 26 episodes. This is the current plan, and it's most likely how Season 1 is going to pan out after this December preseason. Things may change in the future, but for now, this is the game plan for what our team is trying to pursue. Fatal Conflict is planned to be every Saturday, however seasons are on a monthly basis, so each season will happen every other month. So in December, you'll get four Fatal Conflicts, but then in January, there'll be a season break, and then season two starts in February. Again, this is for the new oh. series, Fatal Conflict, which of course is coming out this Saturday, December 9th. I hope you enjoyed this episode, as well as the mm. updates. Please stay tuned for what is to come. I'm Animation Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later. Huh. We'll get ready for this. Get ready for this. Um...
I don't I really don't know what to say. Um go watch Rewind, Rewind Rumble and Fail Conflict and go watch the newest episode, Swordsman Free Throw, which is literally right below me. But I am really nothing to say. Also um uh, my pa uh, my Patreon in Discord link will be down in the description below. So is the original video. Original video will be top. Discord will be second. Give me a sec. Brain fart and Patreon will be third. But without further ado, guys, cup. Cup. Please punch the like button, phone, computer, tablet, whatever you can watch this video. Punch that. Punch that screen. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what do you want me to react to, and I will do it whenever I get the chance. But without further ado, guys, peace out. Okay.